Roderick Strong and Moose might be leaving Ring of Honor in the near future, or not might be, but they are leaving Ring of Honor in the near future. Both of their contracts are up. Roderick Strong, I believe, has wrapped up his Ring of Honor dates. He competed at best in the world, lost to Mark Briscoe, you know, doing the honors on the way out, which is very commendable, obviously, the traditional way of doing things. Moose, I believe, is not yet gone, but he will be gone in the near future. I believe he is doing dates for Ring of Honor in the next month or so, but it's strongly believed that he will be en route to WWE sooner rather than later. Now, I've heard conflicting reports on both ends here. And I've read for years, for the past year and a half now, that Moose was WWE bound. WWE had a lot of interest in him for NXT. And um, I believe at one point he was almost rumored for the Tough Enough show. For last year's show, they wanted to bring him in. And he made a smart decision in sticking with Ring of Honor for multiple reasons. One, where he can continue to grow. Um, I don't think he was quite ready yet if they called him in last year to WWE had he gone with the Tough Enough show. And that show is such a train wreck, which I talked about before. I mean, I enjoyed it for what it was. But overall, though, I mean, they signed half the guys that were a part of that show. Moose, though, unlike many of those guys, other than Patrick Clark, already had experience. So putting him on that show would have been just a disaster because he really already had, he already had a leg up on the competition. He easily should have won. Had he been in the show, would he have won? Who knows? But Patrick Clark who was the fan favorite for most of the show, got eliminated halfway through. So you don't really know until it happens. So I'm glad he stuck with Ring of Honor for the past year. Um, I think it is time to go, though, unless they do something with him. You know, They do something else with him in the the months to come, which I don't really see as the case. And being the case, I think he is kind of better off in NXT and WWE. I mean, he's had a great run in Ring of Honor. When I first started watching Ring of Honor about two years ago, that's when he first came out of the company. And he was very, very green. They put him with, I believe... uh, What's her name? Cedric Alexander's old manager. I completely forgot what her name was. Uh, Veda Scott. They put him with her for a while. And it worked out for the better. Um, I thought he really kind of grew leaps and bounds. He broke off from her about a year ago. And has embarked on his own singles run over the past year as undefeated. On he, I mean, he's suffered multiple losses. Not many, but a few here and there. But by and large, he's been very much protected in Ring of Honor. So he's been a big star for them. But he really hasn't done much of note for the past year or so since he broke away from Veda Scott. He had that short-lived feud to Cedric Alexander, who is now in WWE, by the way, as part of the Cruiserweight Classic, which is great. Um, He really hasn't done much of note other than that. He might have teamed with someone from Japan or Michael Elgin or... I forgot exactly what he's been doing, but he really hasn't done that much of significance in the past year, so I think it is time for him to move on to bigger and better things in WWE. I think he would fit in just perfectly. I mean, he's got the size alone. The size alone... In addition to his skill in the ring, should really bode well for him in WWE and NXT. Roderick Strong, like I said, well, even before Roderick Strong with Moose, I did read something about a week ago from 411, 4, uh, 411 Mania, yeah, 411 Mania, whatever, their wrestling section that had been credited to Dave Meltzer, I believe, of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, saying that WWE at this time had no, not no interest, but there were no plans in bringing in Moose to WWE, or he did not exactly know he wasn't quite sure where he was heading after Ring of Honor, so I'm not exactly sure what the deal is with that, but I think at the end of the day, he is Ring of Honor bound, and he will be in Ring of Honor, or rather, he is NXT bound, he will be a part of NXT before the year's end. Um, but with Roderick Strong, he is also rumored or you know, to be WWE bound. He could be an excellent addition, in my opinion, to NXT. I've heard from various people that he might be headed to Japan because of... For whatever reason, something that Ring of Honor wasn't really doing much with him. I mean, a lot like Cedric Alexander and Moose. I mean, more so Roderick Strong, or more so Cedric Alexander. He had been floundering for a long time before he left Ring of Honor about a month ago. Roderick Strong's been there since day one. You know, obviously called Mr. Ring of Honor, Mr. ROH for a reason. But And he had that good reign as Ring of Honor television champion for a few months. But other than that, he really also has not been doing much of note in Ring of Honor, so it was time for him to leave as well. If they weren't going to put him in the world title picture or give him another shot at the world championship, it was time for him to go. So I'm glad he's gone, and I'm sure he's going to end up in WWE NXT before long as well. I would love to see him in NXT. And they need all the talent they can get. Obviously, with the draft coming up on July 19th, and they're having two separate shows now, they're going to need all the talent they can get for NXT and the main roster because I very much imagine that a lot of guys from NXT will be getting the call-up. Maybe Shinsuke, Samoa Joe, Finn Balor is obviously a given. Austin Aries, um, multiple others as well, Bobby Roode. So I could see many of those people getting the call-up to the main roster sooner rather than later, leaving vacant spots behind in NXT. Now, like I said before, I'm not really worrying at all about NXT because they have so much talent under contract that is yet to debut in NXT TV. 
But that being said, they need star power. They need established names. Guys like Tucker Knight and Hugo Knox and all these other guys that have potential that we've been seeing do live events for NXT but not yet make it to TV. They have potential. They can be very, very good. But they need that star power that Nakamura, Aries, Joe, Balor brought to the brand. And I feel like Roderick Strong and Moose are two big pieces of that puzzle that can really fill in those vacant spots and fill in, you know, you know, fit in just well with the other talents in NXT. Uh, Roderick Strong, like I said, a great in-ring worker. Moose has come a long way. So both guys, I would love to see in NXT. I don't know if officially that's where they're ending up when their Ring of Honor days are over. Like I said, Moose, I feel like has to fulfill a few more contractual obligations in the months to come or in the next month to come anyway. Whereas Roderick Strong, I think, is officially gone. He competed at Best in the World. He competed at the TV tapings the next night to wrap up his run of the company. And I believe he's officially done with Ring of Honor. So he can continue talking or, you know, commence talks with WWE, Triple H, NXT, whoever. And I feel like, like I said, he would be a great addition to the NXT roster as well as Moose. 